Hi guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a quick overview of the kickoff promo, and then I'll get into some LVL. This kickoff promo is really legit. You have these daily challenges. There are two cha- there are two live events in each one, and you need to complete all these every day. They give you badges, points, and players. Most of the time, you're going to get 25 badges and 1,000 points off of each win. So in this one, you would get 2,000 points and 50 badges for completing two live events in that. Be sure to do this daily blitz as well. And the other one, I believe, that unlocks in a few hours. Let me see what that is. That comes in several days. And when you get the daily achievements, be sure to do your best to play this. To play these daily achievements. I played this one, the exchanger. Really, I need to play some of these other ones. But anyway, I need to try we need to try to do achievements. Let's go to the the store. And here we go. Here is a free a pack here. 50 kickoff badges and 1000 points. And here are a bunch of packs you can buy with badges. I'm saving up for 8,000 badges to get an elite kickoff player. Kickoff points here. Once you get enough kickoff points, you unlock certain things. I've already unlocked a gold player from kickoff. And now I'm close to getting 1,000 captain patches. Next will be two kickoff gold players and so on and so on and the very last one is 10 million kickoff points and you get a diamond Michael Vick scheme style of your choice and there are also some premiums that you can spend money to get and unlock this is overdrive stuff or the first two are if you get 15,000 overdrive points you will receive an 80 to 84 elite kickoff player. You get to select one of three that you want, which is really good. And 100,000 kickoff points. So this is legit. You guys work on overdrive. Make sure you get overdrive. And make sure you get 30,000 kickoff points by September 12th. That will be really good. Some other packs there. But that's the kickoff promo. You guys be sure to do that. But now we're going to hop into some LVL. We're playing up. We're playing against Swiss Packers. They're in the five thousands. Not a very good rank. They've got a few sixties in their league. So I'm going to go up against their best player, Taha Four, eighty four defense. He's only on level fourteen, so most likely he has spent money. But uh, hey, that's how it is. Some a lot of time, a lot of times in Madden, if you spend money, you get a really good team. So I am a free to play player, though. Here we go. By the way, guys, I was able to get an elite player from the 7,500 training point set. So I got an elite safety that helps my defense. I am now at 78 overall with an 80 offense, 70 defense, if you did not see. So we're going to start this out with halfback blast. Running left. Man, this guy's got a pretty solid secondary. He has definitely spent money to get some of these players. But I'm going to try to kick this one out. And make another cut. Ah! I break a tackle. And I take that past the 40. If I hadn't run into one of my line... I believe it was one of my blockers. I might have taken it to the house. But good cuts gives me solid yardage. About 20 yards, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go with halfback dive here. We're going to run this one up the middle. Some of the linemen shift. We're going to find a hole up the middle. And we take that inside the opponent 45 for another first down sticking to the ground game let's go with cutback gonna kick this one out to the left got a lot of room kick it back in but i didn't do it soon enough and i'm tackled but it's still a very solid one yard a nine yard gain i should say let's go with h zone week i don't use this play a lot but we're gonna send this man here antonio brown in motion and we're just gonna run it to the left Got room. I kick it back in. Oh, I almost had a good juke on him, but I do take it inside the 25 for a first down. We're going to go with FL Drive. This is a very solid, no risk play, really. We're going to hit the fullback here. He's wide open, but a, a linebacker closes quickly on it, but we still get eight yards out of it, which is very solid. 
Let's go with halfback misdirection. One of my new favorite run plays. We're just going to run this to the right, kick it out, which I do. But good good defense there to keep that to just around the 10-yard line. But it's first and 10. We're going to go with power O. This is the heavy set formation of power O. There's another power O, but I'm going to use this one. I'm going to cut it in. I didn't get much out of that. Just two yards. But it's second and eight. Uh, I'm going to go with Sting here. Another formation where a lot of people up at the line. I'm going to cut, find a hole, and take that inside the five to about the two or the three. I get six out of that. And so it's third and two. I'm going to go with uh, Strong Toss. Another formation where everyone's blocking at the line. And I'm going to run this out to the side. And I'm going to have enough speed to get it into the end zone. First touchdown of the day for Powell. And we're going to go to a similar play. Flipped, toss strong here for the two-point conversion, as usual. And again, I have not failed with this two-point conversion play in LVL this year. So eight points against an 84 defense. Very nice on the first drive. Second drive awaiting. Need to make sure not to make any mistakes against this defense, which is four better than my offense, but it doesn't matter if I make good play calling and execute my plays well. It doesn't matter. And we take that just past the 25, so that's a good return. Since we are on the left hash, I will flip blast. I'm going to cut it out, and I break a tackle, but I only gain about a yard or a half a yard, so not much there. Solid defense. Mm, we're going to go with halfback dive. And I got a hole up the middle, a big hole. And I make a cut, but that didn't really help me any. I take that close to the to my 45-yard line. I'm going to go with FL drive this time. Maybe I can get a big play out of this. I'm going to hit the fullback. He's going to make the catch. Some cuts. And he's got a, a lot of room. And I make another man miss as he goes falling. But... Thankfully for the opponent, there were several defenders there to make the tackle, and Carlos Hyde is pumped up there. That was a really good juke move. Again, guys, I cannot stress enough. You need to master that. And H-Zone week again. We're going to send Brown in motion. And we're going to get Powell running left, but uh, he has nothing doing two-yard loss. And by the way, guys, I got my Michael Thomas from Overdrive rewards for being in the Hall of Fame. And being in the top 10,000, so that is really good. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with uh, misdirection here. See if I can get a hole. There is a hole. Solid defense, but I still get 7 yards out of that. And let's go, th let's go with tight end out here on 3rd and 5. Just trying to pick up a first down. The tight end, Gesicki, should be running an out route here. And he is. I don't know why I say should be. He will be running an out route. And he should be open. He makes the catch. Takes it close to the 10. Well, apparently he is just inside. Just right around the 10. And it's first and goal. Let's go with this halfback dive. Heavy set formation. Is actually right at the 9. So he got more yards than I thought he did. I hit the hole through right guard. He makes a few moves. Takes that close to the 2. It's second and goal. Solid running by Powell. And let's go with Z spot. I'm hoping that my B receiver, which is Michael Thomas, I believe. I be well, maybe it's Owens. I'm not sure. Anyway, my B receiver should be open on that little spot right there. He is, but he throws it to Gesicki anyway. Thankfully, it's not intercepted. It could have been caught, but I don't know what who Rosen was throwing it to. I don't know why he did that. But we're going to go with strong toss here. On the right hash, I should have flipped it, but hopefully I can get it in the end zone anyway. Hopefully Powell has enough speed. He breaks a tackle. I hit the skill move just at the right time, and Powell broke the tackle and powered his way in the end zone. And that's the second touchdown of the day. Let's go with flip toss strong again for the two-point conversion. Solid blocking, and I dive into the end zone for another eight. I love the new diving mechanics into the end zone that over that overdrive has that's really I really love that third and final drive here
Again, guys, we're not doing a lot of passing because we don't really need to. And we're doing safe passes. And here's a deeper kick this time. Agnew's going to return it. Get a good one. He does get a solid one right around the 25, so that is where we'll start. And we'll start with blast flipped because we are on, the, are on the left hash. Kick it out, but there's someone waiting for me right there. No gain. I'm going to go long pass this time, and it's going to be it should be a safe throw here. I'm going to hit the slot receiver, which is going to be Antonio Brown on his post route. And Rosen fails to throw the football. So now I will have to throw. If it hadn't been interference there, really, and if Rosen had thrown the ball, then I would have had a big gainer, but I do not because of Rosen. So that was Seattle. So I'm going to go with Vert's wheel stop. It's basically the same play. And that one's, oh, that one's almost intercepted. That was all I could do there. Nothing I could do about that. So we're going to have to go Hail Mary. I made a mistake, guys. I should have kept with the running game but I felt like passing and really Rosen should have completed the first pass but he didn't throw it in time so Hail Mary here Gesicki makes the catch but he's short of the first down he cannot get the first down Rosen is the reason why we did not score this time Josh Rosen he is elite but he is one of the worst quarterbacks in the game if you were thinking about getting him do not please do not get him I'm not going to blame it all on him. I could have done better. I probably should not have called a pass, but if Rosen had thrown the ball, it wouldn't have mattered. But anyway, guys, hope you liked the video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have not. And if you subscribe, hit the bell icon to get all my videos. Thank you, guys, and God bless.